All right then, folks, before we carry on with the episode today, uh, one thing I did forget to mention last time was the weather cow that's located just south of the ruins area uh, in the Champ Sauvage region. So make sure you go ahead and interact with that one. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do so now. So sorry for forgetting that last time. Uh, but hey, at least we've got it done. And don't forget as well to fill in your monster bestiary with all of the entries from this region. You might have to uh, traverse between the different times of day as well. Okay then folks, so I just spent a little bit more time in the area. As you can see, the hero's looking pretty darn fancy now. Uh, thanks to the Drazilian armor, I've just gone ahead and crafted the helmet over at camp. And that completes the outfit. And I've got to say, I'm glad I did actually. Uh, he looks amazing. I do love this armor, I really do. Uh, anyhow, I did go ahead and just go through all the monsters I could see in the region as well. Uh, in particular, during daytime and nighttime. But I haven't been able to complete the bestiary for those just yet. Just to confirm, if you want to see the monsters you've defeated and what you still have to defeat in terms of numbers, you can literally access that from the info menu. And I tend to just go to view monsters by region. And the region we're in now is this one down here, second from the bottom. And as you can see, uh, there's still five more enemies for us to fight. So, I'll get those a little bit later, no doubt. But yeah, always try and fill this out uh, as soon as you can save having to return later on when you want to go ahead and complete that. So, when you're ready then, folks, uh, the other thing I men should mention as well is that I did just go around and collect some of the sparkly points again. In particular, the platinum uh, is useful, so if that respawns, make sure you get it. Just keep an eye on it. Don't forget, you can teleport to the southern campsite here. And there is literally a platinum that spawns just north of that in the water area. So if ever you want to get more platinum, that's a good one to get because it's really fast. When you're ready then, guys, head to the northwestern part of the map, which is where we are right now. And let's head inside, shall we, into the uh, town that I probably shouldn't try and pronounce because all my French viewers will probably be shouting at their monitors. Uh, but here we go. Let's see what's uh, going to lie ahead of us here. In L'Academy. I'll just call it that. And this place looks pretty awesome. There's some pretty awesome music to go with it as well. Okay, so this is apparently the opening ceremony, perhaps, for the uh, start of the school day. Ah, hunting for mini medals. They've got the right idea. Girls, now to your lesson. May you have a maximally fruitful day on your journey to become miniature ladies par excellence. All together now. Merci, Monsieur Medaille. Merci, Monsieur Medaille. Merci, mesdemoiselles. Oh, 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 oh. Mm, what have we here? It is not so often that we receive les visiteurs. It is a minimally common occurrence, in fact. <gasps> Ta -ta 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 -ta. 
Incroyable! I do not believe it! Young man, it must have been fate that brought you here! Destiny! La Providence! I sense a great power within you! A power of maximal significance! There is much to discuss, but not out here, eh? Come to my office, and I will reveal all you need to know. It is nearby, a minimal distance. You will see! He's a very happy fellow, isn't he, this principal? Right, so here we are then, once again, getting uh, free control of our characters. We can say hello to... Some of the folks around here. Now, our next destination... Uh, sorry. Yeah, next destination is going to be study. Yeah, I was getting confused then for a moment. But yeah, we're going to the office slash study of the principal. But as I say, you can chat to some of the... Uh, ladies here as we go and as you can see there's some fairly interesting characters <laughs> right so we can enter through the main doors uh, if we want to but we don't need to do that just yet First of all, we're going to head over to the east. Since this is a school where one of the primary purposes, it seems, is to collect mini medals, it'd probably be a good idea, perhaps, uh, if we start to do that ourselves while we're here. You know, show keen interest in doing what it is that the school likes to do. So somewhere around here, and I can pause the video if I can't find it immediately, but I think it's not too far away. Uh, there's a well, there it is, look. And we could head down here. And alas, one of those mini medals should actually be present. Uh, with any luck anyway. Right, yeah, so we'll head over the right path here. Bit of a hideaway this one, isn't it? And there it is, mini medal hidden in this barrel. Right, there's actually a little item we can grab as well from the other passages. So, guess we'll start over at the west. Doesn't really matter which way we go first, though. Sparkly over on this side. Some royal soil to be found within. And then to the north, there's a chest. There it is. Right, slap bang centre of this area, so you can't really miss it. And that has an enchanted stone for us. Okay, so with that done, we can basically head out of the well now. Nothing left to see down here. And don't forget guys, you can use the map as well just to pinpoint any of the sparklies that might be in the area. Uh, we can see there's one just over to the east, up north. And yes, don't worry, I haven't uh, not noticed that quest over at the west. We'll go and sort that out in a moment as well. Right, where is that sparkly? Uh, there it is. Just in the flower bed. So, a sleeping hibiscus. And we'll be looking for the students over here. It's got a quest for us. Zazie, the leader of the roughest, toughest girl gang in the academy. <laughs> so she's broken an item of some kind. Okay, so she wants us to go and create a whip. And look at this, the reward for this one is three mini medals. And in order to do this, we're going to need to forge at camp. But she will give us the recipe that we need for it. So the lashings of class.
And yeah, she does have a requirement of getting at least a plus one version of the weapon as well. So you might want to save before crafting, uh, just in case something were to go wrong. But don't forget guys, if you load up your save game, then you can't craft for five minutes until after that unfortunately. So try and get it the first time, otherwise you're just going to waste a bit of time there. So we're going to just uh, teleport over to the north camp. Doesn't really matter what camp we go to, but I don't know, I guess in my mind I'm thinking the north camp's closer, so maybe the loading screen uh, will be shorter. You never know. You never know. I don't know how these technical things work, to tell you the truth. Right, so I'm going to risk not saving. Uh, let's just go ahead and rest up. No, 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 no. Forge items, that's what I want. Okay. So, forge weapons. Let's see where it is. It's a whip. And it's the Queen's Whip is the one we need to do. Uh, fortunately, I've just got the ingredients to do this. Uh, two mirror stone. One Narcissus. And a green eye as well. Oh, just look at Fuzz here in his new armour. Don't that look amazing? Oh, wow, this thing looks challenging. <laughs> what have I got myself into here? Mm, that weren't too bad. It only needs to be plus one, don't forget, so... I'm not going to worry too much about uh, trying to get too many of the yellows. Uh, Double-edge bash. And can't really do any more double-edge bashes, so I think we'll just be going for double bashes, perhaps. Ooh, look at that. Wasn't that beautiful? Did you see that, then? Uh, you. You. Oh, so close. You. And again. Right, now just a few uh, flourishes. This one's a pretty good one. And another one up here. Okay, so I think that's everything. Oh, I can't actually see. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, all of them are in the uh, correct target location now. So we'll go ahead and finish up. And we should actually get this one perfected. We got three out of six, didn't we, or something? Or was it three out of seven? Oh, I've lost count already. Yeah, here we go. Look, perfection. Beautiful stuff. So as long as it's plus one, though... Then you'll be fine. I'm not even using whips anyway, so it doesn't really make any difference to me how good this thing was. But hey, five perfectionist pearls is pretty decent as well. So I'm going to go ahead, rest up, I think, to bring it back to daytime. I guess I'll save up as well, and then we'll teleport back to the town and the quest in. Okay, so before we go into the score, we're just going to hand that quest in. So we'll select yes on this. So quite an easy quest actually. And there's those three mini medals. Yeah, so not too shabby at all. Nice to get another quest done as well, isn't it? Right, there's actually another quest we can pick up inside the school here. We're going to enter through the main doors. Uh, but don't go through, in this next area now, there's a few doors. Don't go through the central ones just yet. Because that's where we need to go as far as the story is concerned. Into the headmaster's office slash study place, whatever it is. Uh, instead we're going to explore some of these side rooms. So we'll start with the western one here. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can see there's a, a few things to do here. A few people we can speak to, etc, etc. So I guess we can start with the... Uh, people at the counter here and this person has uh, a thing for perfectionist pearls it seems so she's obviously collected a lot she wants to sell them to us and she's going to sell them to us actually the relatively low price in my opinion of a hundred gold apiece so for example we could go ahead and just purchase a hundred perfectionist pearls for ten thousand gold uh, a little bit much for me at the moment but I will go ahead and purchase a few say 21 bring us to a nice amount of 30 and you can actually use these obviously uh, immediately as well for example if you want to upgrade some of the weapons that you purchased at the casino recently or one at the casino or purchase with the casino currency you know what i mean okay so we can go ahead and speak to some of these others as well 
So we can rest at the casino if we want to. At the casino, sorry, at the uh, school if we want to. But uh, I don't need to. And then finally, there's another shop here as well. So, some useful stuff actually you can purchase. Including some of the eyes. In fact, I think that's all of the eyes, isn't it? Red, blue, yellow, green and purple. Along with some other items as well. They're a little bit pricey. Uh, but when it comes to forging and what have you then, you know, this is a really simple way of getting these things. So, no doubt you'll be teleporting, actually, back to this place quite a lot throughout the main game from this point on, uh, when you need to get these ingredients for crafting. So, just make a note of these, even if you're not buying any now, uh, that you, you know, remember where they are so you can come and get them when you do need them. But as we ent enter into the next area, we can chat to this person here. And she's got a quest for us. And we will have to go through a fair whack of dialogue to pick this one up. So she wants us to solve a mystery for her. And she's going to read the journal to us now. So by all means, pause the video if you want to go through that. And that's the quest accepted. So that'll sit in our log for a little bit. Uh, it's not going anywhere. I won't be completing it just yet. Right, so we've got the kitchen here. And we can actually access the kitchen as well. Yeah, don't mind us. We're just strolling in. Uh, there's a lonesome pot. Which we can go ahead and break for a seed of life. So probably don't want to miss that one. And you can see there's some stairs there. Uh, where are the stairs? Well, there's some stairs in here somewhere. We can get the camera right. But we're actually going to ignore those uh, for the time being. Okay, so we're just going to yeah, make our way. Yeah, nothing else to get. Yeah, make our way out of here. Uh, and now we're going to go back these, yeah, past the central door. Uh, we can see there's another room here. So this is a sliding door. to say hello to some of the folks in here if you want to. Okay, and there's a bookcase over here as well. Oh, we can't access that one, unfortunately. Uh, you can have a chat to some of the other NPCs in this area, though, if you want to. There should be a library around here also. And it looks like it's a save point in this room. So just check this bookcase as well. Oh, nothing sadly. And I'm not going to worry so much about saving right now since there's still a fair bit of exploration uh, that we can go ahead and undertake here. That's just the same room. So I don't need to go in there just yet. Ah, lots of bookcases here. So I think there'll be lots of information that you can go ahead and discover from these bookcases. Along with a couple of recipe books as well. So even if you're not too interested in the lore, then you'll still want to read these no doubt. So let's just check out the ones with the red books because they're the ones that we can access and are the ones that are going to have the recipes. So Fine and Dandy Designs is the first one here. Check this one. Okay, thank you very much for that info. And, oh, wow, lots of books still. I'll just weed through these. 
So you guys can obviously read them at your own uh, convenience as you play the game. Ah, there's the next recipe. In fact, since that's the last recipe we can access, uh, I won't bother reading the other books. Whoa, lots of stuff to uh, craft from here, though. Goodness me. Pretty exciting stuff. <laughs> right then. Okay. So the stairs are here. These will take us up to the next level, of course. Where there's a little bit more exploring for us to go ahead and undertake here. We'll head over to this side first. Mainly because, as you can see, there's a quest giver just kind of lurking out the way. So we may as well go and uh, sort that out to begin with while we're up here. This is Persilla. And this will start the quest, the Agony and the Ecstasy. Uh, she wants us to help her with something that's been worrying her recently. It seems we're the only person she feels she can talk to. Okay. That is a very strange request. She doesn't want to read the newsletter, but she wants us to read it for her and tell her uh, the answer to her love problems. Okay. Well, it's not like we don't uh, undertake the unusual in this game, is it? Right then. We're going to come back out of this area here, and this time we're going to head over to the east side again. And if we look here, we can see there's a bulletin board and a person in front of it. Right, so unfortunately, it seems that the issue that we need to read is no longer present on the notice board. It's blown away. So we're going to have to run back to the west at this point now. And we can access the rooms above the quest giver. Oh, down here that is. So we'll start here. Uh, first of all, there's a feathered cap in this room. And next we'll go into this room here. And I believe there's another wardrobe. Yep. This one's got a bling bling belt in it. And then we'll enter this room here. Hey, look at that, another wardrobe. Let's open it. Hey, another mini medal. Well, I don't think there's anything in that final room that we haven't explored, but I am just going to go ahead and check. For your guys' sake, I would hate to miss anything. Well, there is a, uh, another space here, another closet wardrobe thing. But yeah, nothing inside, unfortunately. You can read the books down the shelves if you want to. Right, okay then, so we can basically head back down now. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make my way over to the headmaster's office, I think. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and exit this area. Doesn't really matter what stairs you come down, though. As long as you end up down here, this is where you need to be. I think I'll go and save first of all. In fact, guys, didn't realise the episode had gone on. I'm going to go ahead and finish up here for today. So thanks for joining me. And we'll carry on by going into the headmaster's office next time, which is going to kickstart the next section of the story for us with another cutscene. Uh, but hey, you know, got a quest done. Picked another couple of quests up and made some progress on another one as well. So hopefully you guys have found this episode helpful. And I'll see you soon for more Dragon Quest XI. Take care all. Goodbye.